In today's Our Region's Business Online Extra, we're talking about what it's going to take to get Pennsylvania started again. And here to explain is Matt Smith, president of the Greater Pittsburgh Chamber of Commerce and affiliate of the Allegheny Conference, which co-produces this program. Matt, great to see you. Great to be with you. Great news, I would assume, for small businesses if they can get a piece of the action, a piece of the money. Yeah. Yeah, the PPP program was oversubscribed and, and hit its cap very, very early. I think the total was about a week um, or so but before that original $349 billion was, um, was oversubscribed. Um, the new package, as you mentioned, Bill, um, is going to pass uh, the House um, today, the U.S. House today, probably be on the president's desk by the end of today. Um, and that provides for another $310 billion uh, for the PPP program. Uh, which we've advocated for. We've worked with our congressional delegation. They've, they've done a great job of, of working in a really bipartisan way to make sure that that program is replenished. Um, but as you said, it's, it's going to move very quickly. Um, and, and we're urging uh, small business owners um, and any business owner who might need this assistance to apply um, you know, very quickly, talk to their uh, financial institution um, and, and really get that application up and running. The one big piece that's different um, about this tranche of funding is that there's a $60 billion carve out um, for smaller lending institutions that might not have been able um, to access the original um, funding that was provided by the SBA. And so uh, of the 60 billion that's carved out, uh, 30 billion will go to um, financial institutions, credit unions, CDFIs, um, who have less than 10 billion in assets. There will be the other 30 million, 30 billion carved out for those financial institutions with 10 billion to 50 billion in assets. Um, and we've, we've supported this measure. We worked, um, as I said, with the congressional delegation to make sure that this was included. We think this is one way where you can have this capital flowing uh, into many communities, into the hands of many business owners who weren't able to access that original tranche of funding through the PPP. Well, it sounds like there's a little bit of strategic advice here, because what I've heard is there's still a backlog of applications sitting at banks from the original program that'll probably get through, pushed through first. But some of these other lenders weren't involved then. So does that mean there might be a better shot if you work through them uh, to, to actually cap some of these funds? Yeah, it's certainly possible. And, and that's where the, there, the comes in the importance of actually carving out um, $60 billion for the smaller uh, lending institutions. We think this is, you know, this is a way, a uh, very practical way to help drive this um, investment and in capital um, into the hands of those business owners who, again, weren't able to access the funding in the first go around. Well, so critically important. I have to tell you, small business is really the backbone of our, of our, of our, of our entire economy. Yeah, absolutely. And, and uh, you know, we, I, I think I've said to many people that to me, this is um, not the beginning of the end, but the end of the beginning of the federal support that is going to be necessary. And, and there are going to be multiple steps. State and local government assistance is really going to be front and center um, you know, on what's been called phase four and phase five of this process. And so, so we'll stay uh, very active in, in communication with our congressional delegation. As I said, they've done uh, a great job on both sides of the aisle of, of working uh, in a very bipartisan manner to make sure this funding flows as quickly as possible. All right. We'll make sure all this information as well as our webinars are available at AlleghenyConference.org. Matt Smith from the Greater Pittsburgh Chamber, thank you so much. Thanks, Bill. I'm Bill Flanagan, and that's today's Online Extra.